this is center of the groove uh, where is the block the block is somewhere here uh, there is a friction at, at all that one uh, and it is being moved with an acceleration a this, this theta is given for, for our calculation purpose, cos theta, sin theta. Uh, still, still not understanding. So what is this? This everything is. How, how mg will act? This is a disk. Placed on horizontal surface. And this is a groove. And there's a block. And it is moved with an acceleration. Okay, at least uh, all of you getting the diagram. It is based on horizontal surface. So don't think that MG will act vertically down. How MG will act? MG will act into the plane of the diagram. Placed horizontally, you should be able to understand. Placed horizontally. Uh, chapati, all of you, simple. Chapati or dosa or steam dosa, set dosa, take or pizza, keep it on plate. Then in that, you, you make a groove, you cut it and keep so many, uh, what are the ingredients? I don't know what you add. Uh, some olives or, or olives or paneer, anything. So the paneer block, you keep it here. Then move the, move the pizza. This was the condition here, nothing big. And now friction, the coefficient of friction between the block and all surface of groove in contact is this much. How mg will act? mg will act into the plane. So here, so the basic diagram. So let's now go for only the block now. Now, what are the forces they'll be acting? So let me discuss the problem with respect to the plane of the disk. So let's take only the block. What are the forces that will be acting on the block? How mg, mg will act into the plane. Into the plane, I'll show like this symbol. Cross mark, if I put it like this, it is meaning that mg will act into the plane. Now, what are other things? So pseudo force. The pseudo force should act here. MA. Now, what about the friction? <coughs> Where all friction should act here? Uh, the, sir, where is a groove? The, the groove surface is here. Huh? Because some of you are asking that. This is a groove. Are you getting no? Uh, no. Uh, will there be any friction by the there will be friction. Friction by the groove will be on the block. In what action? Will be like this. Let me put here. Will there be any friction by the And will there be any friction by the uh, which part, uh, which particular side of the groove will exert force? There are two surface, two walls are there, no? This wall and this wall, which will exert a force? Right, sir. The right one. This will exert a force, no? This will be exert a force. So here are the normal contact. The normal contact, I have to show like this. This is what the normal contact. Normal contact will be like this. By the block on the groove will be like this. So therefore the friction here, I to show by the wall of the groove like this. This F1 is by the ground, huh? but by the, you can do one thing. Shall I put a name for this one? This will be the, if you take the groove wall, it'll be like this. No?
Now, there are uh, three surfaces are there. There's the surface one, there's the surface two, there's the surface three. So shall I put like this? So this is the two, this is one, this is three. Uh, why there is no normal contact? And uh, if I put again a few more diagrams, I'll give it. And there's a groove. So I, I, I can't help more than this. Huh? You, you should have the practical imagination. This is my upper limit. Beyond this, I can't explain. Please try to imagine the situation. Uh, this is what the MG will act here. Got this. Then uh, I'll, I'll give a 3D diagram. Huh? Some. I, I'm trying my level best. Now, now the MG will act like this. This will be. And how, how the friction? I think not. Okay, this, this will not help you. I'll, I'll show this diagram. Plain, plain diagram only I'll show it. This is MG. Uh, then <coughs> uh, what about N1? N1 should be like this. Uh, I, and the friction here. The F2, F2 is what I'm showing this one. This is the top view, this is a side view. Huh? And this is a surface one. So here, here is what? So the, the, this will be the surface here. So this will be the one you show it, one you write it. Uh, the the block will not be in contact with us with the wall three of the group because the pseudo fourth will press it against the wall two. Getting the idea? So here is the things are there. This is two, this is three, and this is one. Got this? No. Okay, we have to get all the uh, things that one. Uh, the disk has an acceleration of find the acceleration of the block with respect to this. So what shall I do after this? Let's write all the expression. Uh, now uh, we should calculate n1. No? So what is n1 from the diagram? n1 is equal to n1 equal to mg. There's a one equation. Uh, what about m2? What about n2? So component of this pseudo force should balance that. So we have this angle theta. We have this angle. So this angle will be theta, no? So what is N2 should be equal to? N2 should be equal to MA sine theta. This is the value of, so what is further sine theta? Three by five. So three MA by five. Let's do one thing. Uh, let's write equations of motion for the block here. Uh, what is the acceleration of the block? MA cos theta minus F1 minus F2 equal to M acceleration of the block with respect to this. That's what he's asking. So in what direction the block will try to move? In this direction. So this relative acceleration we are supposed to calculate. Okay, I'll, I'll slide down. Okay, diagram fine. Let, let's write the equation. This should be. Okay, I'll write down the equation solve. Uh, first, first we'll calculate F1. What is F1? F1 should be equal to mu N1. Uh, what is the value of mu? 2 by 5. So 2 by 5 mg. This is F1. Similarly, what is F2? Mu N2. Mu is how much? 2 by 5. 3 ma by 5. So this will be 6 ma by 25. Let's write equation for motion. ma cos theta minus F1 minus F2 equal to MAR. We'll substitute all the values. So what is acceleration equal to 25? Cos theta 4 by 5. What is F1 value? F1 is 
2 by 5 mg f2 is 6 ma by 25 equal to mar solving all this substituting g equal to 10 solving all this will get ar do calculation later on i'll proceed all let me discuss all the basic concept hmm? so these diagrams are very important a student must have all this basic idea the groove will have three surfaces 2 3 and 1 the uh, yeah, clearly i said that block will not be in contact will not be in contact with the wall three okay now let's go for person walking whatever the nature of friction 